What's up YouTube? We ended the last vlog after the dirt track practice night and it's the next day. Yes, I did get a haircut. I just got that done about like maybe an hour ago and it was time. Two years is just too much for just growing the hair out. So it was time. It was getting hot around here and I couldn't take it anymore so I got a haircut. It doesn't look too shabby. But we got some parts in for Haley's car. We're going to put some spacers on here and we're actually, I think I'm going to switch the rear to the front because that's originally how we had them offset but whenever we started doing the camber and stuff when we put the bags on because originally got these wheels for when she had coil levers on so when we got the bags i switched them just so it could tuck a little bit better but we're going to flip flop because we got 10 millimeter spacers from ebay good old ebay we got hub centric 10 millimeter spacers they're always a good little brand so we're going to see how these work just so we can get an idea on her next wheels as well. Because um, I don't really recommend running spacers all the time. 10 millimeters ain't going to hurt her car. So we're going to do that and see how it goes. And uh, then we got to change the oil on this baby and in this car too. So, because we just changed the fuel filter in there. And three weeks ago I changed the oil on that truck. So then our, all of our cars will be done except my dirt car. Which dirt car is in there. I haven't washed it yet. I need to today. To If you haven't seen that install of these lights go ahead and check that out that was a little funny video <laughs> but they're pretty good product I like them VMS spike racing lug nuts and they're pretty damn good. I actually need to buy some for the Mustang because I have some old ones that are in pretty bad shape. So, but I haven't been taking it to any shows or nothing. Just some cars and coffee every now and then. So I haven't been really worried about it to be honest. But that'll be something else I need to buy as well. switch the rear to the front though like we originally had it when we bought them and got them set right with the offsets just go slow let go oh it's never stop you definitely need more camber so you definitely need more camber I'm still talking yeah that's why we're gonna swap them Is touching the fender well now. Lift back up. Back right here, though. Yeah, lift up. <laughs> so the rear is a perfect tuck. <laughs> Sit on that rim like the Mustang. I like it. The only issues we're having right now is the front. Again, this is with the 10 millimeter spacers on here. We're still having this issue. We're gonna get a fender roller and pull these fenders out a little bit. And uh, I think another thing is we need to get smaller tires, but Haley daily drives this thing, so we're gonna have to work something out and figure something out to where we can get this to hit the rim. So we might go a little bit more camber up front, but we haven't decided just yet. It's a work in progress. Hello? No. Ooh, boy. Well, it fits where we want it with the 10 millimeter spacers, but I'm not gonna allow her to run these with the spacers on until we get extended lug nuts, because I don't want her to die. 
Do you want to die, Haley? Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't want her to die either. Because it's, it's pushing it pretty much. You can see how much it is. So, and these literally are like 1.8 inches after it comes off of the rotor, which is ridiculous. I don't know why they don't have them longer, but I guess, I mean, it's a freaking Malibu. So, we're going to have to try to find some on the internet and get some 2.5 to 3 inch wheel studs. We'll see what they got. Where'd he at though? Where'd he at though? Ooh, the same one my dad's got. How much is, how much a gallon is that? What is this one? This one's 23 quarts. This one's 16. All right, 16 works. Cause my truck is 13, so that'd be perfect. Here you go. Let's buy this sucker. Hi y'all. Do we anything else? Like one trip to Walmart just to get an oil pan. Just the other one we threw away because it was so garbage. It was so garbage? Yep, so, so garbage. Sure we don't need anything else? We're gonna look around. We're gonna look around. What's the toilet paper right there? I don't know, maybe for your trail needs. If you're going hiking, maybe you need some toilet paper. See your little gummy bears. They were a dollar. Here. Oh Jesus. Marsh. You're making a freaking mess. So I just got done changing the oil on the Mustang and while I was down there, I discovered we got wire showing. Oh God, probably why is because I haven't had alignment in God knows how long. This is just grand. Well, maybe I did get alignment a while back. Shit, I can't remember, guys. But yeah, look how good the tires are. And then look at that side. That is awesome. Freaking awesome. Wearing the shit out of that tire. So, I think I'm about to send it. I don't think these are directional. I can't remember. Like I said, I haven't been messing with this car in a while. Nope, these aren't directional. So I'm just going to flip them around and say to hell with it. Because this side is pretty good. And I'm going to be getting new wheels soon and new tires soon anyway. So, but Jesus. I haven't had that problem yet. This is honestly the first time that I've had wheels on this car this long. I mean, maybe the Drivens were on for a little longer. But I um, didn't have this much camber. And this much offset. So, maybe that's why. And I've been driving the shit out of it for the last year and a half that I've had these wheels on. When I, when I do drive it, actually, I mean, I say I've been driving the crap out of it, but when I do drive it, I drive it a long ways away. So, like, 
I've had these on since November 2017. So that's been a good minute. So I guess they lasted pretty well, but yeah, it's time for new tires for sure, which is kind of sad. I thought those tires would last me a little longer, but they usually do. This is the first time I actually seen wire on them. I mean, like I said, this is the longest time I've ever ran them. And I've been driving with the most camber I've ever had on this car. So it is what it is. Every tire is going to do the same thing, you know, but these are actually holding up. Like always, Continental are the best for me. Like when I switched from Nito to Continental, the ride quality is just outstanding compared to Nito. So I'm glad that I can run Continental all the time. But that doesn't say that I don't run Nito tires on my truck. But for my Mustang purposes with the bags and everything, I'd rather go with better tires and that's what I got at Continental Sponsorship and it's amazing. I love their tires. So shout out to them like always. And I cannot wait, cannot wait for my new wheels. We're still in the works to get some more offsets, a little bit more camber, because I won't be driving it as much. So we can get a little bit more camber and say the hell with it. So, but Haley is actually currently driving her car out around so we can warm her car up and then change her oil. And uh, I don't know what we're going to be doing after that. I think we got some plans on building a coffee table which should be fun. We're gonna get that situated and then we'll make that coffee table. I don't know how it's gonna come out, so we'll see. I don't know if we're gonna work on that tonight or not, but we just been relaxing. It's my day off. I go back to work tomorrow. Then I have Friday and Saturday, Sunday off to race, so. Which reminds me, I need to wash the dirt cart from last night. I keep forgetting so many different things. We planned on doing some stuff today and then i ended up going into town to get some plants for the house and then i was like hell with it why don't i just go get a haircut so ta-da this is what happened chopped it all off so i don't know so it happens whenever you have a house you don't know what to do whenever you got a lot of stuff to do <laughs> honestly need to invest in some race ramps because these just don't suit me i thought they did but i have to do this every time Much more, don't care. Be 